it's just a short live stream. There's a difference, you know, when somebody likes you and somebody loves you. This goes, you know, for the Christian couples out there, you know, there's a lot of, um, I know there's like brothers or sisters, maybe single sisters, maybe single brothers who are going through, through the same thing as I'm going through. But, you know, when somebody truly loves you, there's a difference between liking somebody and loving somebody. When a man or a woman l likes you, well, if they love you, no matter what's going on, they will be there for you. It doesn't matter how big the storm is. They're going to be there for you. When somebody likes you, um, it's, they're going to tell you that I love you, or, uh, this and that, and blah, 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 all this cute stuff. But then when things don't go their way, they'll dump you, they'll break your heart, they'll break, they'll break up with you. That person never loved you. That person used you. So I'm talking here to the couples in general. Maybe you're single. Maybe you, you guys are about to get married. Ask yourself this question. Sisters, brothers, does God want me to marry with this person? That's something you should be asking yourself. Because uh, it's very important, you know, because you do not want to waste a person's time, okay? That's the title of the video. Like, you know, um, like, for you brothers, I encourage you if a, you know, sisters, if a guy likes you, tell them, ask them what do they like about you. Likewise the guys, you know. Um, you guys gotta ask the, the woman, what do they like about you? You know what I'm saying? It's very important, you know, because, um, there's a difference between loving and liking someone. You just like the person, you know, because you never endure to the end with the person. You never, if you truly love the person, you wouldn't never betray this person. You wouldn't never hurt, break this person's heart into pieces. Um, that's why most relationships don't last long nowadays. But um, this is for couples in general, not just Christian couples, but for everybody in general. You know what I'm saying? So just take heed. There's a difference between liking someone and loving somebody. Like in a romantic relationship. Because I know there's a lot of single persons over here. Maybe there's minors who follow me. Maybe they have somebody who's their boyfriend or their girlfriend. I don't know, but, like, you know, somebody needs to know, you know. So I, I know I'm talking to someone tonight because I've been meditating upon this all day long. That there's a difference between loving and, and liking someone. So then let me jump in. Let me jump on here real quick and say some few words for couples. Either Christian couples or um, if you're single and you're looking for a boyfriend or a girlfriend, know this. When somebody truly loves you, their eyes will be on God and they'll be on you. They'll be only on you and nobody else. And then, like for the brothers, if you love this person so much, if you have a crush on this person, you're going to wait for the perfect time to pursue her. You're not going to go around, you know, looking for other women, flirting with other women. So, um, let me tell you guys what real love is. Real love. It's found in here. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It's one of my favorites. When, I'm, when I was a babe in Christ, I loved that verse so much. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I'm going to read the whole chapter. So yes, like regardless of what's going on, when sisters, brothers, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, if they truly love you, they will, if they truly want to marry you, then they won't put their eyes on, on anyone else. We're starting from verse 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a, tink, a tinkling cymbal. And, thou, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so... That I could remove mountains and I have not charity. I am nothing. I'm reading for the King James. 
And though I be so, oh my God, to feed the poor. And though I give my love to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. Charity suffer long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vanueth it not itself. Is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. But whether they be, be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether they be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall not vanish away. For we know in part, and in prophecy part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. And, I, and when I became a man, I put away all childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know. I even so also I am known. And now abide faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. So, um, for those who are recently married, maybe love your wife, guys. Like, same with you, sisters. Love your husbands. Until death tear you guys apart, like support them, you know, support them in their ministry. Like most of the disciples, I don't know if all of them were married, but I told you they left everything behind. They left everything behind for the Lord Jesus Christ. So I encourage you guys, if you're mad at your husband or your wife, don't get a divorce. Pray and fast. Pray for your husband. Fast for your husband. Likewise, the, likewise the brothers. Pray for your wife. Fast for your wife. Don't think about getting a divorce, because divorce is a sin. Your marriage is not okay. It's not okay if you truly love this person. You're not going to go look for another woman or man. You guys have to do it God's way, not your way. I hope this um short video helped. May God bless you guys in, uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Um, I, I hope you guys meditate on this. This video is going to be on YouTube. So, um... You guys could check it out. And if you guys want the link, I could send it to you. God bless.